Blackhawk coming into land. Trying to touch down in a safe spot and no way! Tandem round! Slamming into the side of the Blackhawk and an entire squad wipe. Helicopter crashes into the field. And insurgents keep control of the lower Lashkar Valley. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. And in this one, we've got Lashkar Valley Invasion with the Aussies up against Insurgents. This is Lashkar Valley Invasion V2, and is quite possibly one of the toughest invasion layers in the game due to the sheer size of this map combined with some of the most insane terrain. Lashkar just has so many places where insurgents can ambush, can hide, and also get the high ground to peek over, while conventional troops simply have to grind their way through. As tough as it can be, it is a blast to play when you have a coordinated side. And as you can see from the length of this video, both the insurgents and the Aussies showed up to play in this one with some amazing infantry, some good vehicles, and some awesome command and SL coordination. So I hope you guys enjoy. Also, this match was actually voted on by Patreon. Each month exclusively for Patreon members, I have a vote where y'all can decide a specific game for me to cast in Eye in the Sky. So if you are interested in getting a little bit more input on what you can see in the channel, Channel, as well as a lot of behind the scenes screenshots, videos, and updates on what I'm doing, plus a lot more on the Patreon page itself or even in the secret Discord, the Patreon starts as low as $1 a month to get all this bonus content. By joining, you help support the channel and continue to allow me to make quality videos. So thank you again if you do decide to become a patron. Additionally, once again, thanks to my current patrons who voted on this one because it ended up being an awesome, awesome game. But that's it for me. Enjoy this special episode of Eye in the Sky, and until next time, peace. All right, Eye in the Sky, Lashkar Invasion V2, and this is the Aussies all the way down south up against Insurgents, and we are on Lashkar Invasion V2, also known as Lashkar Valley, also known as the map nobody plays because nobody likes to play Lashkar. Uh, not one of the more popular maps, kind of ginormous. It's a lot of rough terrain to get around. And Invasion, I will say, I like to play this on Invasion. There's also a territory control layer that I think is really good. Uh, but usually you don't see this one on rotations for Advanced and Secure and, and RAS. So, uh, with the Aussies though, the Aussies, we have a handful of Lodgies and, uh, the PMVs, kind of the lightly armed, uh, transport and, uh, armored vehicles. I have a couple of the Mag 58 machine guns and also one with the uh, the remote weapon system 50 cal, uh, three Aslavs, which are the the lighter skin LAVs. Uh, they're also amphibious, so if they want to go, I don't actually think any of this water is deep enough if it needed it, but if it did need it, they are amphibious. And uh, two helicopters, one Blackhawk and the larger MRH 90, up against a bunch of techies, rocket techies, SPGs. And uh, AA, BMP-1, MTLBs, and a light skin vehicles. First point, Gardez, Kubar, Maiden Upper, all the way to Central Lashkar, then Outdoor Market, Grape Farm. It is a huge map. It is a lot of fun if you have two teams who actually want to slug it out and play the objectives. Let's see what happens here. We are off. We see these PMVs. This is just the party bus. I love it. LA, look, the party bus actually bigger than the vehicle. Literally bigger than the armored vehicle behind it. And we'll see, the point is just about here. And rockets already landing. Nearly knocks out the party bus. And already trying to get some suppressing fire out. Rockets over us as helicopters. Try to push across that first mountain range. RPG into the backside. One, I think he tried to dismount. Crashes into the side of the road. And infantry are going to try to get out before they take another RPG in the back. Actually, Dishka. I'm not sure if that was a Dishka emplacement. Or we have more of a vehicle here. And as you can see, we'll turn on the outlines in just a second, but it is almost impossible to figure out where that's coming from if you don't have what we have. And it's just, it's that close to us. We didn't even see it. Just a pickup truck. Slap the dishka in the back, and there you go. RPG tries to knock out 
the Aslav as well. Aslav tries to open up, return fire. And there you go, GVS Taylor, Cheater Sponge, Ferreira, a handful of insurgent infantry just down the road. And I think Tree is still alive, triggered up next to him as well. Tree jumping on that Dishka again. And he will go down as the Aslab finally dials in. He's trying to do his best. Good shit. There you go. Good call there. Right, and uh, a pretty decent ambush. I mean, knocking out a PMV and at least one infantry squad for one of those lightly skinned Dishka techies. That is a fantastic trade. Take that every day as last PMV up here is without at least one tire. Let's keep these outlines on for you. It's going to be a little hard to see. As Siotka coming in with the Lodgy to reinforce this fob. Sell it pot with the AA vehicle, I believe, goes down. This is a really good defensive kind of holding for the Aslav. Doesn't want to push too much. You don't want to go into this uh, since this is the point here. You see this uh, rectangular prism is the capture area and i like how the aslav is kind of waiting for his infantry to get uh, back up you need to heal up get the medics uh make sure infantry is is another unit instead of just kind of pushing one by one and with that then you get your vehicles on supporting on the main road very very clean right now from the attackers and the aussies rpg from maybe sam or swift seal tags the pmv a little bit And let's take a look at if you're insurgents down here. I'm surprised there's actually not as many insurgents as I thought was going to be on the objective. Just a handful. And we're right now on Gardez. Oh, Sjotka actually with the RPG 20. Oh, not 29. RPG 7 with the tandem round. That is a fat round. Like throwing a waterlogged football. Thing drops, you'd be very okay, careful when you're shooting this one. North side of uh, Gardez. But only a handful. We just have one, two. There's not even a fob down here. I'm trying to figure out where the insurgent fob is. Oh, this out here. Hold on a second. This is the one of the positions the helicopters actually dropped. This is kind of what can turn into a grind fest for uh, the blue four. I mean. Blue four have only lost six tickets. Actually impressive. 100 now, now seven, 193 tickets to 881. North of the point, guys. Heads up. If you actually drop down and push with this rally, uh, sorry, with the helicopter rather on the hills, you can kind of get stuck up in a whole bunch of hill fighting when a lot of the objectives, especially right when you start, are instead going to be. There you go, ATGM comes in. He is wounded. As, as if he can MTLB, there, yeah, he's not going to have much else to do. They need to get out and, and get that fire out. <laughs> or just take an ATGM. That fob on the top hill has perfect coverage and insurgents can do nothing. Push right in and die. As you see, Aussies is now, or they're clearing the compound. Infantry overwhelming. Good fob as well. And I heard a bike. I wonder if that's an IED bike. But Aussies just doing really well. They've only lost 13, 14 tickets. Attacking the first point on this. And then right behind us, Marco Polo actually gets knocked by the Aslabs. Right now, insurgents are just being absolutely outplayed by Aussies. Fantastic coordination by both the vehicles and infantry. I think a, a little bit, a little aggressive on this hilltop fob. Uh, but hey, you know, if one fob out here is going to take the, like the aggro of the insurgents while the rest of the team can push onto the objective, I'll take that. 15 tickets going down as Gardez, except for Triggered here. Maybe he can make an insane play. Knocks out one. Is that Casper? Not quite sure on the name on that one. But then takes 556 five, to the back, and that is a wipe. 
Yeah, it is. Casper goes down to that. I believe enemy mortar is trying to stem the bleeding, but that is not going to do anything as Gardez about to go completely neutral. A bunch of mines here. Hold on a second. This is always a little date. Oh. Part in the camera movement there. Always a little bit dangerous. Uh, pushing the point, especially insurgent points. Love to mine these areas. And I'm actually surprised. Oh, you see all that infantry pushing in? Not a single one right now is clearing the road. You might get a, a lucky one or two. You might get one or two uh, who can run over it and see it. But apart from that... Gardez looks to have completely cleared. You're good to go. Insurgents are instead going to have to fall back to Kumbar, Maiden, Upper. That's actually a really tough point. Because you are now at the bottom of the valley. And you are going to have to start working your way up and around as you see. Oh, hold on a second. As you see, asking permission to destroy the point, or destroy the toe, because insurgents have actually worked their way up onto the point. Arctic's here, nearly knocking it out. Oh, and he goes for the shovel! Oh, horrible timing! And speaking about horrible timing, Rocket Barrage comes in a little late. You can see, we'll turn on the name plates, you can see only a handful have, have died. If this Rocket Barrage was just a few minutes earlier, might have actually completely stopped that push. 181 tickets. I'm just impressed right now by the infantry for the Aussies. Capping a first point on invasion, especially Lashkar. You see it a lot of the time, just vehicles going down left and right. Infantry giving up on the on the side of the hills. And right now it's it's looking pretty good. 280 tickets. First cap is Dunzo Gardez. Easy secure for the Aussies, and unless insurgents can put up a nice defense here, this might be a complete route. We'll have to see. Squad 3 LAV returning to main to resupply. See TL Chance up in that MRH 90. And you can see, even if, if we're the helicopter up trying to. Something just popped. Yeah, the PMV right here actually hit a mine on the, on the objective. And Aslav takes an RPG. Pop Smoke needs to get out of there. And Driver might have seen those mines. You can see them actually, the red dots on the map. Not that hard to see once you, you know what you're looking for. But takes an RPG from the east side. And yeah, that was uh, Ericsson or Ferreira here trying to do what damage they can despite losing the objective. So still fighting for it. Mortars now. Aggressive kisser. Uh, <laughs> goes down to a mortar as now you have these Aussies are all just stuck up behind their PMV. And this kind of is not fun. So many infantry stuck up because you have insurgents all on the top of the hills right now. And if you try to take a peek, you you cannot see anything. There they are. Even just one or two. Siotka and GVS Taylor. I mean, one or two infantry up on this hill is just making it seem like you got an entire squad up there. And we'll see exactly... Exactly what the insurgents want to do and hold on a second. This is kind of a cheeky little SBG techie here. Alright, sounds good. And one of the benefits of Lashkar is you can get in all these different angles. And now that the SBGs have a, uh, a much, what is it, a much uh, closer min arm. They, they will only min arm now at six meters and uh, and lower. So previously these things, it was like 30 meter range to min arm. So SPG is much better for 
trying to ambush and kill vehicles and can defend themselves much easily than they, they had in the past. MRH 90, is he actually going to try to do this? He just took AT, I think just slammed in the side of him or might have been a GL. He tries to go for the YOLO way downtown. A little short, but he's going to have to bail because he's taken HE grenades. Not HE grenades, you now have AT actually. Copy that. Trying to rearm sure shots off. Now you have a little bit of a long range shootout, but that is a hat. Max, he's going to have red dot. I believe Ozzy hat actually has iron sights. And what is this? Ozzy's pushing up really close, actually. Hits a mine. And this might be perfect ambush position, ambush position uh, for the insurgent if he can figure out a safe way to get back on his SPG. Hey, Commander, is it, can I move up to you and put a hab, or do we need to move up to the down? Oh, no. Attracted too much attention with that SPG shot earlier, and now here you can see Achilles now taking shots. Another mine goes off. SPG in the mountain. I'm pushing him right now. And w this is how, how much of a problem one insurgent can do. You now have four vehicles held up on the main road, all from a, a, a couple mines and an SPG. Goes to toss a grenade, might be good. Come Fantastic here, grenade. Oh, nice right, who does well to try to get an, uh, a trade. Knocks out Achilles, but that grenade did just enough, and no, that is going to be it. One, Looks like Golden yeah, is going to not only knock out the SPG, right, right. might also knock out the rally behind him. SPG Techie goes down. I mean, one, once again, it might not have killed anyone, you know, aside from Achilles here, but just holding up that push, I mean, that is, you know, uh, two lodges, an armored vehicle that you're allowing insurgent infantry to now get into the hills. And you can see from the hills now, especially if one of these guys has an RPG uh, 29. And that's a frag round, I think. Bot 1, 2, 3 is killed by a frag, but that's the one thing. Usually if you're on if you're on this side of the hills, you need to really stay on the back side. You need to peek up with a shot and fire because the moment the, hill, the uh, moment you make that thing. RPG uh, fire, you're going to hit that smoke and you're just asking to be shot. And same with all these. Uh, I mean, if you're then as I Yep, there you go. Perfect shot. Easy. It is hard to see infantry, but the moment you take that shot, really obvious where you're coming from, but it is going to be tough. The hills have eyes and they're all insurgents. Whole bunch of Aussie infantry are getting stuck up, but let's take a look on Death Valley over here and hold on. Do you even have... Yep, yeah, I think it's a BMP. BMP in a very odd position. <laughs> and I think another mine goes off. Heard something. Yep, down south here. Maybe Squad 7 hit another mine. And now you've got the slog. Herrera. One of the last insurgents back here. And there's that Squad 7 PMV. These mines, I still can't believe after all that, these mines are still up. Hey, Squad 10, can you have your needy orphans turn around and try to get that hat back up? If possible, he's just leaving it. Sorry, I'll try to tell him. Let's see. Solo, hold on a second. MRH 90 takes AA fire, trying to come into that uh, next forward position. Has to go low, actually loses squad nine SL. Falls out and he's gonna try to touch it down. He needs to be soft. 
needs to get that down and then actually put out the fire. Not sure if he's going to be able to do it. Infantry just jumping out. Do you want, do you want the radio take down or do you want to fix it? He's got to make a decision. Loses the rotors and loses the chopper. Just too much damage. And Insurgent AA doing just enough to cause enough problems. And MRH-90 goes down on the hillside. Ozzy's stranded. Only a couple of them left. And that is a rough, rough push. This is where it's going to get tough for the Ozzy's. First point right off the road. Just, you know, what? A, a few hundred meters off from Maine. Ain't no problem. And now you have the hills. Going to be probably the, the best defense the insurgents have is the terrain right now. And I did notice, unfortunately... Oh, hold on a second. Pardon the quick camera movement again. But... Needy orphans... <laughs> Oh, actually gets shot by Cass. No way. Needy Orphans tries to get the jump on Cass JF digging down the radio. And Cass must have got it to a disabled state and put his rifle or uh, equipped his rifle. That is huge. This this is what's going to kill uh, the, the Aussies if they let it happen. This is just going to be a lot of ticket bleed losing radios after they push up. And JF, if he's patient, you might have... Uh, Otten and Clap try to dismount and save this radio too. And Clap decides to dismount and that might be a little dangerous here. JF, if he's patient, he heard that vehicle drive up. He's got to be guessing that at least one infantry is going to push him because you've got little Bushwookie, a sneaky snake, trying to crawl up to that radio JF should see him right there. Stair it's a stare off. Oh, from the left, even nice. surprises me. Smoggy Pluto, full autos. And honestly, if, if you're Aussies right now, you dig that down. Looks like they're digging up. I dig that down. Might have some. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they have some chatter on uh, command right now because that is a great save. But you don't want that fob just sitting there. Now it's a 20 ticket time bomb. In a, uh, a lake to the northwest of Kumba. You hear that BMP mark? We were looking at it a little bit earlier. And infantry are now locked down. And I personally, I don't know about you guys. I would call that a pond. Is that a lake? Hey, squad five, be careful about mine. I don't I'm think that's a lake. I would, that's a, that's a pond. Like max a pond. A lake, you need, I, I think the, what is the actual definition of a lake? It has to be like a certain depth, right? I think this is a pond. We have a BMP coming out of the, the point right now. I think for a lake, you have to have like a 20 meter, like some depth that doesn't see some percentage of the body of water doesn't actually receive sunlight. I think that's a technical definition of a lake, and I, I think this is a pond. That's a pond. BMP climbed his way out of the lake. Oh, and what a shot! That was a fantastic shot, and dodges AT actually. Formica, Formica, Form. Isn't that an Italian? Formica. Unfortunately for him, BMP moves right as he takes a shot. And good defense right now. As the Aussies are just completely losing momentum as they try to work their way up the hills. Hey, he's going to just go for you. It's nearly lost, uh, what, 50, 60, 70 tickets already. Uh, that, uh, okay, that's quick. Quick movement, quick movement. Quick movement. If it's possible, we need to get a motor fob up and just uh, start lobbying. BMP uh, pushing up the hill. Down the field, down to the of the and you heard over comms, they were yelling at the LAV, say, yo, you got him going towards you. If anything, Aslash should be aware this BMP is coming up. But now you heard that coax, that actually spoils it. 
that coax if you're a, we got schnoo and blair in here experienced uh vehicle players that coax you now know there's a vehicle out in front of you to your to your left here somewhere in this direction there's an aslav and honestly if this aslav wanted to do an ambush you saw they they actually just cut the engine here it was a uh, warframe uh, also might actually give an accurate mark here. Wouldn't be surprised. Yet yeah, they do. Warframe was on a... Uh, was on a bike. Actually gets lit up by the coax. And you gotta take you gotta take that shot. You can't take the chance that there's an IED on that bike. So now accurate mark. Warframe letting their BMP know that you've got uh, something. At least one Aslav. And here's the thing. It's just now a big game of chicken. So can we get yep, that support? Thank you, yep. love you. Big game of chicken. But infantry had called out the BMP earlier. And we'll have to see. The BMP is close to our uh, head kit. It's close to him. BMP takes a shot. Oh, I don't think he's he got okay. tracked. He's, he's wow, very push. unlucky. You should push him. And hold on. He says, go to push him. Pat Kit scares the BNP off into the hill. And there you go. Aslab's going to try to take a few shots. Might get out of there if he pops some smoke. Maybe get some more concealment. But thankfully, the BNP is extremely low to the ground. <laughs> this v I don't know how this BNP can get out of here. You got infantry AT. And there you go. Hat kit mops them up. Yeah, smoke yeah, off to yeah, our front right. Uh, it's it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. And that was that was a, a, a good tracking by infantry. Infantry had seen the BMP for almost the past five, six, seven minutes on the hill. Infantry then squirt off and try to get good shots on him. Scares him. Causes him to fall back a bit and easy, easy kill at that point. Hey, hell of a push, boys. Let's keep it up. IDs go off in the meantime back on the fob. And that's probably, yep, that's a lot of, I don't know. Answer me this. If you're one of the, the sappers who uses IDs only within an objective area and only when you basically lost the objective, why do you do it? What if instead of the IDs all over these houses, you put them along the hills on the outside? So when you start getting infantry pushing you, you then IED. I always feel like these these premeditated IEDs in certain positions always come in too late. Uh, can I get a heli pickup from me? Uh, my whole squad's gonna use the heli. Come in way too version. late. And by the time they're already pushing your radio, you're basically screwed. Tumbar Maidan Upper is now almost neutral. Trying to see where our helicopter just went. It was flying super fast. It's in the building. And hold on, another quick camera movement here. Okay, a I'm gonna go sapper. Soak with you guys. Right in the trees here. Aslav. I caught a whiff of them. Yeah, this this is me. I'm I'm this sapper. I'm the sapper that is so impatient that I go and take a peek at the road right when the vehicle turns to look at me and then I try to hide. I always do that. That is that is this perfect squad timing for me. Perfect timing. Yeah, just keep reversing, keep reversing. We got infantry too close. Infantry too close. Infantry all over them. And I will say, I, I love the look of the Aussie camo. Really, really cool looking. And HE all over. Wow. Dude, that insurgent Leo needs to buy himself a lottery ticket. They're not wrong. Insurgents were all over him. And Aslab does well to disengage and fall back. Needs to be very careful though. T Tigla and maybe Essa also go down. Good infantry. Or rather, uh... Good awareness to pop some HE in the buildings where the infantry would be hiding. And hey, Beef, trying to go for the redemption. I think he was running out actually with uh, 
an IED and can't do anything. This is a fantastic rocket barrage. The only infantry that were not killed by it were the ones in the buildings. As you see on the right side of this hill, Achilles and a handful of others go down. Really good rockets, actually. And here we go. Insurgent up top. Ozzy down low. And it's played ring around the rosy here. Gets get hit by one of the 50s from that PMB. As an LAV also now takes shots. And... I mean, that's honestly, there's not that many insurgents or there's not that many Aussies on the point, you know, about half a squad. You see them all in that one building. The issue is you don't have a close enough spawn anymore. Uh, Hab went down. Kumbar, Maidan, Uppers, uh, Cap Zone is actually quite small in terms of the village. The village spans a lot of north south, right? But part of the objective is actually on the hill and only the south side of the village. So you just have to push in and secure almost one building in order to start winning here. It's going to be a big base for sure, probably. Kumbar secured, and I've got to say, this is one of the best invasion attacks. I say that as mortars knock out for Mika and uh, needy orphan, orphans. This is one of the best attacks I've seen on Lashkar in a very long time. Very methodical, great coordination from both vehicles and infantry, uh, and helicopters have been more or less... Uh, staying alive, except for the one we saw earlier, and and I think being really good assets right now. Not too many uh, vehicles being lost in, in stupid ways. Crisis actually knocking on SM might get spaced on as well, and huge. 680 tickets for the insurgents, 242 for the Aussies, and FOB is overrun. Radio is going to go down as well and here we go <laughs> they are you've got tree vlad habschruber hold on a second that is an aslav pushing back down the road and tree trying to solo that spg techie but that's not going to work so we're going to take another look out and we gotta get Habs up, boys. They, they got down oh, hold on a second. Wait a second. All right, once again, quick camera movement right here. But I see something that might actually... If this is a scout car... It is. This scout car, if he actually gets eyes on this 12-7, can actually knock out Aslavs. I think he's playing a bit too much in the hills right now. If he just got eyes on on the road right now. 12 sevens will tear apart these lightly armored the Aslavs. And I think that's not going to happen. Yeah, as you can see, moving right to left right now. Yep, Aslav misses his chance. B BRDM might get his chance next time around, but I'd be surprised with the objective now on Central Lashkar. I I'm not going to lie. I think the smart move what they're doing right now is pushing back and using the main road. Quick camera movement as well, as we're going to try to not miss what might be hilarious over on the main road. You have an IED Yo, bike. That, huh, boys? Hell yeah. Oh, he just... What? <laughs> How do he stay alive? I'm not sure if he's he still is alive. Lord Tater Tot. Lord Tater Tot somehow yeeting his bike through multiple vehicles. ID bike goes and he's about to run right into the Aslav. Slams it to the front and just mistimes the IED. When you are on those IED bikes, you can think that you are you have a lot of time. They hit that button, call it in, and you're still going to be good, good to go. I really think another ID. I don't know. I don't think that was the same one, but I, I really think the that ID crew thought they had a little bit more time. But really, the moment they saw that Aslav, they should have just shoved it straight down the throat of the vehicle. 
and uh, g give him just another second to go. And there you go, Aslav on the way back home. No problem. Well done by the Aslav. And luckily saves that vehicle. All right, and we've got... Oh, but hold on a second. Aslav might have just barely escaped, but hold on. We now have the BRDM. Nope, they're all falling back. And it looks like you have a pretty big push. We're not going to get there in time. Nate, I think he lost his crewman. But you've got uh, AT, both Lat and Hats, about to just completely destroy this poor little defenseless MTLB and the big defensive point now is Lashkar, Central Lashkar, right. and there you go, Shady Goldfish, and, a gun yep. protecting it. and that is a huge we infantry push about to about to happen. Say blow it up. If we can we hold on the push, boys? Can you guys hold off the push? There you go. I mean, this is this is danger close if they're able to get these uh, these mortars on target. There you go. Realizes they're a little closer. Hey, Ty, everybody, Joe, look at their maps. Love to see it. And here you go. Artie is about to just drop. Right on, if we look up, we should be able to see that UAV command circling around says, yo, what if, uh, what if I just blow this all up? How about we do that? Speaking of blowing things up, that <laughs> propane tank nearly goes straight up into the sky. Hangs. Exactly where it's gonna land. Hey, as soon as this artery, uh, artery clears, push in, all right, boys? And not far off, honestly. You can see Aussies are all in the next uh, building over. And artillery. Oh, hold on a second. That was a hell cannon right to our back left, just off frame. But... You had a, a ranging shot ahead of us. Oh, great shot. No way. Goes full auto, knocks out the driver from behind. And this already is going to be extremely close. Infantry. Marking the danger areas with smoke as artillery comes in. And this is going to absolutely obliterate every insurgent position. Got to be a little more patient. Knock everything out with the infantry or with the artillery and then push in. Do you think we'd be safe flying out west side? There you go. And so far, so good. That position that used to have that hell cannon and a bunch of other emplacements it's, has been absolutely leveled. Nothing left as altitude, <laughs> like altitude, but an owl, <laughs> Al altitude, <laughs> altitude, pushing through the compound all by himself. Three, how much longer till you leave him in? Uh, give us hey boys, let's get minute. some bodies on that point now. All right. Full autos and trigger goes down. And this should be an easy push if infantry just get up and go. Not sure what they're waiting for. 198 take us to 618. Hey, this goes on point. This goes on point. These rocket techies have been absolutely on point. For Mika, Roland Solo gets uh, absolutely obliterated by him. Good rocket barrage again. And you can see Ginger, Beard, We're gonna need another half. few other unnames. Not quite sure if they're... Oh, the radio's actually on bleed out. 
Triangle's going to try to save it and might just... Oh! Unbelievable! The rocket barrages were spaced out enough that the infantry were never able to go back. This is exactly how you want to do it. They're not using all rockets in, in one volley. They're actually firing a few, doing damage, firing a few more, and probably in that meantime, they're able to rearm. So you have three or four volleys going in before the the arty stops. And because of that, they're able to knock out another fob. And this was one of the main attack fobs for the Aussies. Fantastic indirect play uh, from the insurgents. And I think they're, oh, I mean, they're, they're just kind of chilling next to their, uh, their Western main. I believe, yeah, this is an insurgent fob at Outdoor That's Market. So but, uh, right now, if you're actually looking on the map, uh, you're not crazy. There's actually no, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah, fob yeah, when, uh, for the Aussies. Yeah, Unbelievable. Okay. I think maybe this one that, that, uh, what? was dug down the hab was dug down but there's actually no spawn point for the aussies aside from maine that is huge insurgents i might have taken them a couple points to really get their act together but there you go finally dealing some big damage and with 155 tickets now having to rely on i think they're waiting for the helicopters yeah, trying to get helicopters up and moving. This is going to be the tough, tough situation you're going to find yourself in. Make smart decisions with these helicopters because, as you can see, if we're looking at the map, I know a lot of people get annoyed if I open up the map, but hey, tough luck. It's a big map. <laughs> Look at how many random just onesie twosie infantry you got. One, uh... One wrong angle that isn't cleared, you can lose your Lodgy extremely easily. So TL Chance, I think he has the MRH-90, at least he did earlier. He's getting at least one full infantry squad into that helicopter. We're going to be trying to uh, heli drop to your northwest side. And you can hear five. We're going to try to get that heli drop to the northwest side. And if This is a very common push point uh, for blue four. You like to get into these pockets of... of um, of these tiny little villages so that way you can get a little bit of security uh not just get murked from any angle so very common point to try to push to and if they're actually able to save that they are then going to be very good uh oh is he just going backwards is this real life there's got to be something this isn't there is something's wrong this isn't really happening. <laughs> okay, Aussies, I know you guys have like upside down maps. There's no way you guys fly sideways. You guys can't do that. What is even happening right now? <laughs> is, is this? I might rotor uh, landing. Guys, really my I was flying sideways. My, my passenger thing. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we can get this radio down on the west side of Yeah, okay, I'm not the only one seeing it fly sideways. Everybody right now inside is freaking out because they think they're going to slam into hey, the side. We, Must we be a desync thing, like a visual. Visually, it looks super weird. Maybe the pilot thinks he's doing it normally. But, um, okay. Now basically going up and upwards and... Wait, what? Is that actually going to work? What is happening? <laughs> I can't I have no explanation for the situation we just witnessed uh, I have coming up boys on the east side of central yeah. <laughs> I mean it's it's playable <laughs> okay we did rotor but uh radio is going up Can west side you? Um, okay. I mean, oh! Rocket barrage! They're trying to take advantage of the upside down Aussie helicopter. I mean, yeah, to be fair, this is apparently how you fly in Australia. Rockets. 
Landon right on the LZ. Oh no, that is actually the biggest play ever. Unintentional play. The helicopter pilot was flipping the helicopter. He goes to flip it when the game tries to flip a helicopter. It resets it about 10, 10 feet up. The helicopter was 10 feet up in the air. The rocket actually landed where the helicopter used to be. It hits the pilot, but the helicopter is missed. Most unintentional big brain play because I would have one tapped the helicopter. <laughs> okay, um, nailed it completely on purpose. And SPG misses it as well. This is all sorts of pain right now. Rocket Barrage, because of the angle of the hills, is just barely missing it. And there you go. I mean, eventually you're going to hit it. Uh, Blair and Schnu, or maybe with the BNP, or what are they at right now? Yeah, BNP's back up. Too funny. Aussies are going to be kind of pinned down here. And... Thankful. Ooh, hold on a second. I was going to say, thankfully, um, I, I would get a, if I was insurgent right now, you'd want to get a mark actually for your infantry. They might've seen the helicopter and realized that, or, and, and guessed that with the, the large upturned upside down helicopter that maybe they didn't get a fob down. But if you're ever playing this game, you see a helicopter land and infantry get out. I will always put a radio mark in that spot, or at least a hab mark in that spot to denote there is more than likely uh, a, a new spawn point. Uh, just so that way you get people aware of it. Uh, infantry literally jumping out of the helicopter on the east side now from the Blackhawk. Pardon the frame drops. This is also one of the most unoptimized maps in squad. So damn large. So many trees. So many hills that it's just really hard to uh, render everything apparently. But Central Lashkar is just a stronghold right now. The issue is, I don't know if y'all just noticed this. I'm going to take you, uh, give you a second to try to think what's wrong with this map if you're the insurgent side. And my initial thought is because of how spread out the Aussies have been, it's pulling infantry away from the defensive point. No longer are insurgents clustered into the, uh, the objective area, which is this dome here. They're now spread out pretty much everywhere and this should allow this this half infantry squad if they just get one good push they can overwhelm this objective lock down the uh the radio room and then win the point all because infantry are getting actually bored on the point if you're an insurgent squad leader you need to keep your infantry uh paying attention because right now despite really the the game being in the insurgent hands 136 tickets for aussies over 500 for the insurgents. They could very well lose this objective. And that point we just, or that uh, hab we just saw placed down by the helicopter, that is perfect position for outdoor market. And yes, you can see now there's actually significant infantry presence trying to knock out the hab west of outdoor market. And that's pulling a lot of infantry away from central Lashkar. This Aussie push might be perfectly timed. Keep outlines on so you can see the names are going to be a little bit too busy. But infantry now on the point defending are like, yo, uh, we got a huge problem here. <laughs> Full infantry squad pushing in. And you also have Aslav support. You see that those outlines going down here. Aslav knocking out the infantry, trying to get Overwatch on the hill. And oh, who is this? Syotka actually with a fantastic angle right now. Just knocked out two. Might get easy Achilles too if he holds on. Just barely misses Achilles. The the purple the, the poip. What is this? What is his name? Are you reviving again? The poipal toitle. The poipal toitle. Uh, holding the angle so he can get his buddies up. Lord Tater Tot coming around and insurgents have to get onto this really quickly. You're gonna gonna have problems. GVS Taylor just barely stays alive. Same with Redwood. And that's artillery coming in. 
They just set up a fob to the south side. Bob was overrun for just a second. Oh, that is an artillery. That's actually a health cannons, I believe. Or something. Mortars. Something big boom. And here you go. This is exactly what we're saying. Fob is almost overrun. And Aussie insurgents. Aussie insurgent. Aussie infantry. Might have just come up with a huge play. This could be game saving. I think they got it. Insurgents. Oh, hold on a second. We'll be back to the objective. And oh, this one's going to be tight, guys. The uh, the infantry push has overwhelmed the hab over on outdoor market. I don't believe they actually have found the radio yet. You can see it right now with that hourglass. It's not in the damaged state. It's not uh, sparking. It's not on bleed out. They've actually dug down the hab, or it's overrun at least. Maybe uh, you, you see Goose over here is digging it down halfway. Golden potato. Oh, this might be huge. If he's doing what I think he's doing. Golden potato, I believe, has his shovel out and he's digging down his radio. He's trying to save it. The issue is, you can hear that. And Ferreira... This is exactly what I'd be doing. I'd be looking around this helicopter because this is about where the radio can be. Oh, you might just miss him. You should hear it. You should hear it. Ferreira, open your ears. He knows he hears it. He just needs to try to find it. Now you should hear the digging. Golden Potato with nearly a huge play. And is going to, unfortunately, lose that radio. Uh, that's as, about as good as he was going to do. You know, I'd say it's 100% worth the shot. I, I think that's the right move if you're Potato. And it's really just unfortunate that this helicopter is here. If this helicopter wasn't in this location, it'd actually be very difficult to find this radio. But whether it's a Lodgy... Uh, like an actual ground lodgy, one of the small techie lodgies, the big trucks, a helicopter. You always need to move those away from radios. It is a giant beacon that says, hey, look here for radio. And that is 20 more tickets down. 118 for the Aussies. And look at that. That infantry push was pushed completely back. Radio on bleed hey, five, out west. 20 tickets down here in, in a few. And honestly, insurgents, I think, nearly got stretched thin. Thankfully, they were able to find the radio in time. If that hadn't have happened and infantry was still spawning out northwest of us right now, I think insurgents would have actually been stretched a little too much. But I don't... Uh, these uh, Aussie indirect fire... Speaking of indirect fire, Creation Club just goes down... Aussie mortars, where are they at? Mortars right here. Looks like the Black Hawk or the MRH was able to get a fob out on the hills out east. They're actually able to get a really good uh, fire onto the hab. And I don't like the smoke on the hab. That actually helps uh, helps the infantry who spawn in. Able, They get a little bit of concealment, able to push out. It's actually helping the insurgents right now. Big mortar barrage. This mortar barrage you see is insurgent. This is their command mortar barrage, and oh, it might just be... Look at all those infantry. I don't know, you might get a lucky barrage that lands. Oh, there you go, speaking of, and it, it, it does. One, two, three, four, go down. The second Sons is looking at his infantry, but he's like, dude, I don't want anything to deal with that. I'm going inside. Might run straight to where Bad Dreams is. Right now, the command for insurgents pulling off a very big brain move. Bad dreams. Here's the pitter patter of Aussie feet underneath him. Sticks his rifle out the window. And here's him go away. This is a big fight now for the point. Under 100 tickets for the first time this game for the Aussies. 88 left, 495. And you've got a lot going on. This is going to be danger close. Fires straight up into the air. 
You can see if we can see it coming down, we should be able to. I mean, that is, that is high. There it goes, lands right into the hills. That's a little too high, I think, for where it needs to be because infantry, yeah, a handful are on the hills, but you got them all close. Good push here. Chewy with a good flank tries to knock out Ozzy infantry, pushing across the road. Gets one or two uh, yeah, as aggressive keeper. Don't worry about me. Actually manages to get his buddy out of harm's way. And this is a huge push right now. You have insurgents on the left and they're actually getting kind of buttoned up right now. Good flank altitude, Canadian reap, Canadian reap going and electing the high ground. And you can look at this insurgent bodies just strewn aside the entire alleyway. Outside, get in the building. They're calling danger close artillery pretty much on top of this Aussie infantry squad trying to knock out this mortar position, uh, hell cannon position, and fob. I think this might be overthinking it, to be honest. Infantry could do this. And... Inside, Hold on a second. Hab is overrun. Second Hab is overrun. Central Lashkar is well, actually currently like being building. neutralized by the Aussies, but this artillery is going to probably knock out quite a few friendlies. Oh, that was directly on. 4090 Gamer and sl Shamanism, Slamanism. Oh, they might actually just get obliterated by their friendly artillery right now. Mr. Ginn right below us. Trades with Canadian Reef. Aussie artillery comes in, tries to mop up and put an end to everyone spawning in. 65 tickets for the Aussies. Might just have barely gotten enough infantry inside. Good artillery right now. But oh, what a shot! Direct hit on the little tin shack. Musashi Golden. And a handful of other insurgents who were trying desperately to keep that fob up. Just take a 155 millimeter round to the chest. And that should be it. Central Lashkar nearly secured by the Aussies. And let's take a look at where exactly they have to spawn in from. I mean, they got a, they got a ways to go. Not quite sure what this techie wants to do. He hot swaps to the Dishka. This is brave. He's got one off to his left. He sees him. Oh, and right down the alleyway too. And if he's, oh, he's being a little smart. You don't want to stay in one position too long. It doesn't matter. Pat round. Punches straight through the lightly armed Toyota. And there you go. Although he might have gotten a couple Aussies for his trouble. Techie goes down. And 56 tickets to 443. And you just heard on comms. It's a little dangerous for the helicopters. And 98%, 99%. Bring up there and leave it up there if any SLs want to take it for next point. 155 tickets. Aussies just barely managing to pull this one out. And Insurgents hey, dude, made a hell of a defense. And let's take a look now. Hold on a second. You have a couple Insurgents now pushing. Uh, actually, three. White Better, JF, and Naisu. Now trying to knock out this radio. Brewer realizes that there's more than just one of them. And he hightails it out, but not before he takes a full auto to the back. And Cass 
They've been trying to push on this side for a while now, finally manages to break through because the entire attacking force has pushed onto Central Lashkar. And once again, here we go. A very tough position for the Aussies because their only attack fob is now south of Central Lashkar. And they still have t two points to go. You have Outdoor Market followed up to Grape Farm, and we are just past the hour mark. Very, very tough invasion game. Like I said, one of the better maps if both teams show up to play, and they are showing up to play today. Radio is on bleed, but Warmancer, Golden Potato, they might be able to make something out of this. The Cast Boys hiding in the hab, trying to use that camo netting to their advantage. And White Better might be able to just hold out till he till he hears a, a shovel. We should get him here. Takes a couple shots, actually misses. How does he miss? No, he panicked. War man, what a, oh my God, what a play. No way did he just do it. He dug it up all the way to save it. White better. <laughs> With the bayonet, you couldn't see it because of the outline actually takes, he says, all right, so I can't shoot. What if instead of shooting, I just stab you? That works. White better. This actually might be, he might've just saved it though. Coex. They don't realize there's two of them. No way. Coex turns it around. It should have actually been killed by Cass. And they might just be able to save this fob. Coex. The only one nearby. They're going to be able to dig it up. Aussies with a lifeline right here. All thanks to some smart heads up infantry play. Unbelievable. Warmancer, the first one, braving the SKS fire in order to get that shovels up. And oh my goodness. The rifleman, too. And there ain't anyone close. All right. There's a rider hat here. You work on the radio? I lost my techie. Copy that. Hear that, Cons. You work on the radio. I'll get other people up. And he's a medic. So this entire infantry squad is going to be reset. Ain't nobody giving up on the Aussie side. Oh, Cass, let him know that. Hey, I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's completely clear here. It wouldn't be bad if you send out some rockets. And shovels, I believe the third person view for shovels has always been a little glitchy. So now we can see him actually dig it back up. We've got a lot of they're saying dig it down now, dig it down. They're digging it down to save the 20 tickets. Also not a bad move and 20 tickets saved. Smart plays by the Aussies. And that might have just saved them the tickets because Rockets landing right on that position might not have been able to save it. Insurgents have already been able to knock out a fob before. All thanks to a mortar barrage or rocket barrage rather so. Good plays, 103 tickets. Very smart to do that because they've already lost 50 tickets. The Although they've lost Central Lashkar, the Insurgents have cleared through. All the blue you see is actually dead Aussies on the point. I think Air Kadoot's the only one left. And now Golden Potato should hear that RPG right next to him. Run into Shady Goldfish. The jump, jump. Nobody has their rifle out. And Shady Goldfish finally goes down. A lot of infantry trying to just make something on either side. And this is what I'm talking about. The grind continues. 86 tickets. They must have lost another radio somewhere. And I'm looking right now. The only fob the Aussies have up right now is this one. And then it's just too far to really do anything. Hell, you got a, a pilot out here. You got a couple infantry. I mean, and, and look where the BMP is right now. We're going to take a look at him. This BMP, one of the best positions. If you have, they've gotten killed a little 
you know, earlier in the match, trying to trying to make some plays, but you now have him pushing all the way out on the edge of this is kind of almost main. Main extends for a little bit further, so they can pretty much push out. And from this position, you see the whole valley. This is a very common, almost almost super fob or fob toe fob position. If you are playing random advance and secure or advanced and secure because this hillside covers the whole valley as you can see so bmp is kind of acting right now as a mobile uh, atgm just trying to find spots for the malyutkas and, and really really well done insurgents might be able to squeeze a victory out of this even though aussies have been extremely well coordinated right now Trying to see what Aussies might be doing. DL Chance, Easy Achilles, and the Canadian Reap. So you have an Aslav squad and you have an MRH90 squad. Looks like the squad just showed up to outdoor market now and it's heading up if we can get mortars on that side. And we'll see. I mean, right now it's almost, there's no easy place to push that, uh, to put down if you're. Oh, RPG just yeah, barely right. misses. It's a PNB. I only think it's one or two people inside that max. And you know what? Warframe's going to kick himself because he's going to have a full Aslav pushing by. Yep, and now he uses both those. Warframe, I don't think he has... He doesn't, ha he doesn't have any way to rearm, so tandem round and heat round by Warframe missed the PNB, which means he's going to be completely useless now. So walk, walk all the oh no! <laughs> all right. If you're wondering why I just said "oh no" and, and quickly moved the camera, that was music. I can't play music, otherwise YouTube is going to smack me with a demonetization request. So, uh, we're just going to pretend that you didn't hear anything right there and follow this Aslav from a safe distance. Very safe distance. Here we go. That's much better. Much better. There we go. Aslav pushing into the town. And the main issue is, is it clear enough for him? Insurgents were all over the objective earlier. Lashkar, or Central Lashkar. Can you, guys, can you guys come and help our infantry for the push? Actually, hold on a second. We're just going to mute him here so we don't have to worry about it. And Aslav trying to push right, around side, uh, drop. and this unfortunately there's a handful of infantry that can see him. You have a good... Hold on a second. Oh, heli drop. Hold on a second. BRDM overlooking our thing to our hab over to northeast. I need AT. Mark him, mark him. Blackhawk coming in for a very hot drop as rockets fire off behind him. Blackhawk coming in to land. Trying to touch down in a safe spot and no way! Tandem round! Slamming into the side of the Blackhawk and an entire squad wipes. Helicopter crashes into the field. And insurgents keep control of the lower Lashgar Valley. What a huge play by insurgents. I think that was actually SPG. Losing track of him right here. Or maybe he died instantly. I don't even know where he came from. <laughs> the, uh... The disappearing hat player. <laughs> I'm guessing it was Nate. With the, uh, the SPG. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there he is. Easy, easy kill. That that uh, tripod, you can put it at 360. And as he is a... Uh, he's a squad leader. What you can do is just do a quick uh, observation mark. Get yourself the accurate distance, and SPG can just obliterate it. Good heads-up play, and you can see... Look at how many 
insurgents are defending the objective. So now the problem Aussies are coming into is that they have to fight through the point they recently cleared. They weren't able to establish a defensive position. And so Central Lashkar is technically Aussie controlled. Insurgents have it right now and insurgents have knocked out another vehicle, I believe. Radio mine position. Hey, this is going to be our final push, so everybody needs to not bleed out. Let's call for a medic. Pretty much. You're going to have to have some artillery or something come in. 27 tickets left. And looking at the map, I'm going to be honest. I think that last helicopter play was about it. Do you have any assets or no? No, I still got like two minutes. But it doesn't matter. We don't got no hab. Yeah, once again, we're going to turn this on. This is an insurgent fob. 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 The only Aussie spawn point right now is way south. What we're kind of looking at it right now. And they have to get through roughly 900 meters of pain in order to get up to the front. And the only other way would have to be a helicopter. Yeah, I've been chilling in the mountains here at Gulf 5. And honestly, if you move infantry around this and attack from the north, you're probably going to pull. One last push. And he's calling. You heard over comms. Hey, go on the north side. Just go on the north side. Yeah, that, that's what I've been trying to do is northeast. We got to rally up here for our whole squad instead of clashing with that pointless hat to the west uh, like everybody seems to be doing. In the little salty in the comms right now. Clashing over there. Squad nine. This is the uh this is squad that we just heard on comms. They're saying, hey, yep. if you want to actually I do this. Mine with the Lodgy and then someone finished me off. We're, we have to push around and skip Lashkar. They're not wrong. The issue is it's just so difficult to do it. And ten more tickets go down because Alaji. Looks like they hit a mine. Squad two, I got my squad moving to you right now. Nine tickets, and that's going to be it. You know what, guys? I've got to say, if I'm the Aussies right now, that was a hell of a game. Lashkar Invasion V2, one of the most difficult invasion games to win as attackers. And aside from, I think, a little misplay on their positions here, they, they pretty much nailed it. MRH90 trying to come in for one tickets. last try. Yeah, Drop in a fob. Uh, <laughs> Comes in a little too hot and it doesn't matter. AA knocks him out either way and 352 tickets to zero. 355 kills to 248. I've got to say, that's a good game. Just, just barely, barely missing out and i think that last point ggs 107 revives 355 kills that's a that's a good game hey if you lose those games those are good games ggs